Achieving consistently superior and stable funding levels is the goal of all pension schemes, but often performance falls far short of objectives. Vanessa Cutterford reports on a team that has delivered an average of 95% funding levels over recent years versus a market average of 80%. She visited Cheviot Trust to find out what's behind their impressive track record. The Cheviot Trust was set up in 1930 by the Law Society specifically to manage pensions for the legal sector. These days it accepts employers from all sectors. Those who choose it have seen their funding levels do better than most. In a crowded field, Cheviot seems to excel. Staying ahead of the field is even more challenging when the going is tough. Market volatility can make the ride anything but smooth, particularly where final salary pension schemes are concerned. I think pensions are a very difficult field for everyone. They're very technical, they're full of jargon, and it's very difficult for small employers to really understand and manage the risk associated with the final salary pension scheme. It's like being a solitary cyclist out there on your own, buffeted by the wind. What they really need to buy into is a team that will support them across the board and help them get to where they need to go, manage their risk, manage their expectations. Andrew Clinton is one of those whose company looks to Cheviot for that support. They've been running his firm's final salary scheme for eight years. And the thing that I've come to realise is that they're very transparent in their approach, so we get information when we need it in a form that we can use. Uh, and they work with us to deliver as much certainty as you can in the pensions environment, which is clearly difficult. But Cheviot work in a very collaborative way, explaining options, and you work with them to understand the risk profile uh, and make decisions that manage the risk in a way that's proportionate for your business. Cheviot has employers on its trustee board, like Vanita Cora. Her firm's defined contribution scheme was with Cheviot. When they inherited two final salary pension schemes through acquisitions, they decided to move those over too. I just knew, because of my experience as a Cheviot trustee, just how much better it could be done, how much easier it could be for us as an employer and the better results we would get. The process for transferring was a lot easier than I thought it would be. We had a lot of help from Cheviot and from their advisors who held our hand through the process, guided us through and in the end it became actually quite a smooth ride. There are about 6,000 pension schemes in the country, averaging a funding level of 80% at the end of 2015. Cheviot Trust schemes average a funding level of 95%. They say it's down to their investment strategy. You don't win the race by going very, very, very fast at the beginning and then hoping you can just about keep it going to the end. I think the investment analogy is we're very clear um, from the outset that in order to succeed, there's a certain level of return we need to generate and that we need to generate that return as stably as we possibly can. And that has two important outcomes. It gives the members the certainty that their benefits will be met and it gives the sponsors much more certainty over the level of contributions they'll have to pay in. And that's important because I think in recent years we've seen a lot of variability in the contribution sponsors have been asked for and that can be very difficult. We are best known in the DC world, um, but we have been running um, final salary schemes since the 1970s um, and we use the same approach, very innovative investment strategies and excellent communications to make sure everybody involved has a really clear understanding of how the scheme is managed and what the risks are associated with it. It's planning, it's pacing, it's mastery of the detail and it's keeping a cool head to stay the course. But in the end, Cheviot shows the secret of success is no secret after all. Teamwork.